YouTube. I'm RJ and welcome to my workshop. Today I want to talk to you about my Harbor Freight uh, U.S. General 44 inch toolbox and one key modification that I've made to it that's helped out quite a bit. I've had this toolbox for about two years now. It's worked out very well for me. I had an older, probably a 25 year old craftsman tool chest upper and lower that worked very well. I needed a large, or I needed more storage space, so I needed a second toolbox. I decided to pick the uh, Harbor Freight model. Uh, it's worked very well. One key feature that I really liked was the long drawer. I didn't have that with a smaller box before. I can fit large tools like this uh, torque wrench in there, and then having the top available for a work platform, uh, better known as a place to collect garbage most of the time. But when you clean it off once in a while, you can actually use it as a work platform, which was really helpful. The box has been very sturdy, very helpful. Um, I, I really don't have really any complaints with it. The only problem I had is this box I use a lot more mobile. Uh, move it to the place that I'm using it. And when you move it around, I found that this top drawer, ever so, every one in three times, it would start to slide open. Just the detent wasn't quite strong enough. So if you if you swung the chest real quickly, it starts to creep open. The lower ones don't have as much weight, don't seem to have that problem, just the upper one. So I decided I needed to do something to fix that up and I came up with an idea. I want to sh show you how I did it. Okay, so when I figured out that the top drawer was coming open because the detent wasn't strong enough, I spent a lot of time started experimenting. Uh, I took the drawer out, which I'll show you in a minute how to do, took the drawer out, took a depth measurement, took a couple measurements and found out that the back of the drawer is about one inch, almost exactly one inch from the back of the cabinet. So there's that one inch space in there. So the first thing I did is I just took some ferrite magnets, which I normally have a stack of them around. I use them when I rebuild transmissions and differentials and things like that. They're handy to have around. Stuck it, stuck it to the back of the uh, box, there's a, there's a flat spot there, and it grabbed against the back of the box a little bit, but not really strong enough. Uh, so, the uh, next thing I did is I grabbed a stack of uh, neodymium magnets, much, much stronger magnets. Again, stack up height just a little bit. These are quarter inch magnets, and the stack up height ends up being like 990. So there's a little bit of clearance, so it won't hold the drawer open. We don't want it to not be able to use the detents that came from Harbor Freight. And as you can see, that sticks quite well. So what I ended up doing is taking two stacks. So I played around a lot. I used different quantities, uh, different types, obviously. And what I found is two stacks of these neodymium magnets gave me enough detent against the back, but it also didn't create a difficult drawer to open. So it was a good balance there. Uh, so the other thing is, is what I did is took, because these, even as, as tight as they are, they tend to move around a little bit over time. So I just took some styloacrylate glue, put a little dab on the back side, stuck it on there, and then it stays right in place where I want it to be. So let me show you now. I'll take these out of the way. And so remove this drawer. There's two slides on each side. On this side, all you do, there's two little levers here. You hold down the lever, you can slide the slider back. Hold down the next lever, slide the slider back, and then do the same on the other side. The other side is a bit, took me a minute. You actually push up on it. So it's just mirror uh, image. So it just took a second to figure that out. Once you get those done, you can grab the whole drawer and just slide it right out. So for the holding assembly, all I'm doing, take a little bottle of uh, separate my, in my case it's a stack of four quarter inch magnets. I thought about making a little metal standoff and only using one magnet because, you know, then it would be kind of wasting magnets. But for the cost of magnets, it's really not a big deal. A little dab of super glue, cyoacrylate, stick it on there. Once again, this will probably be out of camera shot.
because when I'm doing a lot of grinding around the uh, toolbox, every so often I'll walk around the back side and you can see the two little dots on the back of the toolbox and you can see that it moved from here to over here or down here. Um, so you can kind of tell where the magnets have been hanging out lately. It doesn't cause any problems. All you do is wipe it off. And, uh, like I say, if, if you didn't know that I put magnets in there, you would have never noticed it. So let's put it back together. So now that you got your magnets on, to put the drawers back in, drawer back in, you just have to be a little bit of a, a little bit lucky. Catch one side, catch the two slides. The other side, catch those two slides. Sometimes multiple times to get it right. So now we've got the drawer all back together. It has just a little bit of detent to it. Like I said, you can grab it with one hand off to the side, no problems. It's got maybe five pounds, eh, probably ten pounds of pull that it requires. But, like I say, when you're reeling it around the shop, when you're rolling around the shop, you don't have to worry about it coming open. There's so much weight in there that it just has that want, the momentum wants to keep it going kind of in a straight line when you turn. You can just lock the drawer, you know, lock it every time you move it, but I just found that tedious. So, to me, simple solutions are elegant solutions. Uh, it's worked out really well for me. The box has been great for me. For the price, the value is, is excellent. So, if you're interested in buying one of these boxes, I hope you enjoy this little review, I guess. If you have one of these boxes and you're having troubles with the drawer, I hope that modification helps you out. And I hope that you come back and see me again sometime in my workshop. I appreciate having, having you here. Take care.